Hello and welcome to Animatic Rose Forest Crusader Kings 2 tutorial. And this episode is on creating your ruler. So the last episode was on selecting a ruler. This one's on creating one. So the one part you do have to select here is you still have to select where you want to rule. So we're still going to choose the Duchy of Breton because, you know, that, that just looks that just looks fun. And but then we look at uh, us and we're like, we really don't want to be King Conan of Brizza. We, 33, we, yeah, I don't even know what he's like. Like, what's, what's are his traits? I don't know anything about him. So we're going to go and we're going to design a ruler. So when you're designing a ruler, the first thing you get to do here, the first thing selecting, is you select what your image looks like. You can just hit the randomize button and just go around. Select male or female. You can pick someone that you think looks nice. Oh, she looks pretty. And then you can choose the hairstyle. Women don't have beards, but you, know, you can choose the head gear. You can choose how they look. You can see what they're going to look like when they get old. You know, you can you choose all sorts of stuff. Um, you can even choose their ethnicity. So we're going to lead Breton, but we're going to be we're going to be West African. We're going to be the West African Queen of Breton. That sounds like a fun thing to do. Um, and then you come in and choose your uh, coat of arms. So some things with the coat of arms is you can choose the layout. So the most basic layout is here plain where it's all one. There's only one slot of colors. There's only one slot of design here. Or you can do two. This is where there's two and you just, you still have to like match them up. You can make them all messed up. There's uh, three. Sorry. There's two. There's two this way. There's a th four. And there's three you can just you know mix and match but they're all sort of a mess and they're all they don't look right so you come back here to your plane and you can link the patterns across all slots and link colors across all slots and then we go like this oh come on guys it should be linking there we go so they all move together oh that's kind of cool and let's go this way oh but our colors don't match just do this and it'll fix itself and you can make them all look the same. You can also add emblems. These emblems are these lovely images. You can make them all match. And this way you, it saves you time so you don't have to go through and do them individual. But you can. You make them all the color and then you unlink that. And you're like, I'm going to have a red one of those. And I'm going to have one of that. And there we go. There's my cool little flag. And then we come up to attributes. So this is the most important part of selecting your character. And one thing to pay attention to is your age because adding more good things to you adds years to your age. I will say there is a mod on Steam called Ruler Designer Unlocked which unlocks this and you can do whatever you want. Um, but that's not how it's game balanced. So the first thing is you pick your name. You can randomize. You can also just type in a name. We're going to be Rose. There we go. And then you just you can pick Rose of Brittany. Oh, it went away. Oh well. We'll just pick Rose Noyance. Okay. You can select if you're married. And that will just give you a husband at the start of the game. Um, if you do that, then you see it adds two years to your age. Which is not cool. You can also change your culture here again like you did out before. Um, which I don't think... Yeah, see this changes your culture, but it doesn't change your um, your image, what you look like. So we're going to be, yeah, we'll go West African. Cool. You can also change your religion. We're going to be a West African Taoist ruling in Breton. Because why not? You can do other things here. Like you can add sons or daughters. Like you start with a son. You see it's adding years to your age. You don't even have to give yourself a spouse and you can give yourself a son. It's adding three years for sons, two years for daughters. You can make yourself more fertile. Um, each one up is 5% and another year on your life. You can make yourself healthier, which is 0.1 each time for one year. You can give yourself some of the different stats, diplomacy, martial stewardship, intrigue, learning, and each one adds a year to your life. Makes you another year older. Um, one thing you should do is you select your education. So you can choose any of the areas. You can choose um, intrigue, diplomacy, um, stewardship, martial, 
or learning. And you see each one costs points. Well, the basic, most basic one is zero. It doesn't cost anything. Um, it does affect what your stats are. So one thing to notice here is that this five is the base, and then it shows over here on the right hand side what your actual is. So like the naive appraiser is minus one marshal plus one diplomacy. So even though your base is five marshal, you're losing one because of the naive appraiser. So your marsh your marshal is actually four, and your diplomacy, even though your your base five, is actually six. So if you want to do something like you're you really want to be a gray eminence, which is the highest level, that's adding fourteen years to your life when you're just starting the game. So the better you make your character, the harder it is to succeed. Or the harder it is, the less time you have to play your character, I should say, not succeed. Um, so you give yourself a little bit, like you add three years to your life, and you give yourself a little bit of a better education. And then you come over here and do your traits. So there's traits. The ones that are green take years off of your life. So like you can make yourself a leper. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing that because that's minus 95% fertility, minus health, and there's not really any easy way of curing it. There's some chances, but you're probably not. I wouldn't do incapable either because that means you start the game with a regent and you're probably going to die soon anyway. To advanced aged. Um, these red ones are all minus. You can do something like possess. That can make things fun. It gives you a few minus points or lunatic. But a lot of these health ones, wounded will typically heal quickly, so a lot of people you'll see when they're doing this, they'll give themselves wounded to give themselves extra years, which is kind of cool, is kind of good. Um, and then you get other ones. You make yourself a kinslayer, which is minus 28, which if you're starting with no family because you're a brand new character, then it's not as big of a deal as if you know, you're part of a big, big family with hundreds of members. Um, you can do all sorts of things. You can give yourself, these are congenital traits, which these ones are negative congenital traits. Some of these you're born with, some of these you can achieve over life, like a stutter. You can pick that up in your childhood. Um, I think a lisp also, but the others are you're born with, and they give you a lot of minuses because they're not good traits. Um, Blindness Marshall, the only person who likes you better is people who are also hunchback. Um, there's also ugly and dwarf. Um, and then there's the green hearts, which are also congenital traits, but they're positive, so they take years away from you. If you want to be a genius in here, you start as a 40-something year old. Which, you know, that, that, that hurts. You could be a genius dwarf, which will, as that minuses, so you're a little younger. You can be inbred. I wouldn't suggest that one either. You can take these, no. You can right click them and you remove them. Um, and so some of these are very bad. Some of these are very good. You can do things like celibates. Um, these ones are learning traits. You can achieve these in the game through different events. Same with poet and falconer. And they do all sorts of things. And then we come down here and we have the, um, these are your your different traits that you get for virtues or sins. They're dealing with the seven sins and the seven virtues as Christian religions dictate. So typically the sins are minus, but some of them are plus because like greedy, it hurts your diplomacy, but you get more money. So it's a good thing. A lot of people like it. Lustful is a straight up zero because you lose piety, but it makes you more fertile. Lustful is always never, it never hurts. Chaste can be annoying if you're trying to build a dynasty. Um, so you can select any of these, the red, the green, and then you come down and these ones are not connected to any sins or virtues, but they give you good things or bad things, like being craven is all very, very bad. So it's minus 17. Well, brave is very nice and gives you plus 12, or um, plus 12 years, so you're 12 years older. There's all sorts of these ones. The ones that are bad, you can easily tell. And you could, this is actually a good place to come and read through these if you want to know what they do. And you can tell easily which ones are good and which ones are bad for you. Cynical is actually minus, but you know, if you're trying to be someone who's very good at killing people through assassination, then cynical is pretty good. So you can make a very nasty person this way. Um, 
And then these ones have to do with religion, if you are Muslim, that you can earn during the game, or you get that because you were born, because, like this one is patrilineally descended from the Prophet Muhammad's uncles, and this one's patrilineally descended from the Prophet Muhammad, which is, you know, much more powerful in terms of, well, both Muslims like it, but... Um, these ones, scarred, you get this if you take wounded, and then the wounded heals, you get scarred. So a lot of people take the wounded. That's why, because it turns into scarred, which is a good trait. Um, these ones, master seducer, socializer, theologian, these are earned from your, your studies in the game, which is from the Way of Life expansion. Erudite, stubborn, brawny, frail, shrewd, dull, these are earned through childhood, typically. So if you don't start as a child, you're probably not going to get these. You can tell which ones are the better ones. Brawny is kind of like being strong without actually having the congenital trait. Erudite is like having, um, well, it's not quite the same, but I think it's, yeah, shrewd. Shrewd is like having quick without the actual quick trait. And we have cannibal, cannibal, which is a positive if you're going to be martial. It, you can get this in the game from secluding yourself during a plague and eating people. It happens through event chains. And then here's Kinslayer, more Kinslayer, familial, familial Kinslayer, and Dynastic Kinslayer. You slayed someone in your family, but they're distant. This is slayed someone who's much closer in your family, or your extended family, compared to here was just played Kinslayer, which has three little blood drops, because you killed someone very close, a close member, which is minus five diplomacy compared to dynastic, which is minus three, and familial, which is minus four. So, yeah, you know, dynastic can slayer, the regular general public doesn't care about that. So there's different levels, and you can choose any of these traits. Um, most people, as common as the people take wounded to get those 11 years, they'll do something like, oh, let, let's add a few years, let's give her quick, and let's make her lustful, and, or maybe not quick. Because actually, no strong adds a lot. Twenty-five years. So yeah, we'll just do quick, and we're not gonna do anything else because yeah, we just don't want to hurt ourselves. Make yourself par paranoid, which gives you some more intrigue, which is only plus one year. So she's twenty-four, twenty-four-year-old woman starting, and she's got no kids. She's got basics here. Yeah, it's not not bad. And you can get more traits in the game. Wounded, sh unless you get unlucky, wounded turns into scarred. And you've created a character. Finish. And there she is. Now, granted, one thing to note is if you make your character a different culture than the area, your remember your lieges and your vassals are still the correct culture that was in the game, and so they will hate you for being a foreigner, or hate you for having the wrong religion, and you might have a very short reign unless you're very, very good at the game and very, very lucky. Or a good combination of both. So that's it on designing a ruler. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I hope you all have a good day. Bye.